What's going on, everybody? I'm Eric. This is Chris Kitty Hammock. Today, all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, to Longmont, Colorado, we visit Copper Sky Distilleries, which is one of our uh, reviews that we've done recently. And we're here for a you know, barrel review. We visit you know, Bourbon Bible. And we get to even have the content up to put you know, our own labels on. So we get to do that too. Yeah, we get to bottle some. It's it's a stint, label some. I also drink some. Drink some. So, you guys coming with us, let's go do it. Let's go. Hi, what's going on, everybody? Here at Copper Sky Distilleries. Right now, we're in the distillation. Space. space, the distillation space. Lucky enough to be joined by Isaac Hafner, who is the head blender and distilling. Yeah, I mean, I, I run the distillation. I am working my way into the position. Um, it's really fun, but Perfect. I want a little bit more under my belt before I call myself a head at it. <laughs> uh, it's really fun, though. I'm loving it. Um, so, yeah. can you give us a quick tour of what all this is? Absolutely. Um, so our process is uh, very, very simple, very, very old school. Um, we have a cook tank, ferment tank, and then it goes straight into the still. Um, first thing that we do, I mean, we take our grain, we've got a couple different mash bills. We do uh, like corn moonshine, which is 95% corn with a little bit of malted barley. Um, and then uh, a bourbon, which is going to have some wheat in it um, and a little bit of oats actually as well. So we cook it in there, we get it all cured, uh, we get all the sugars out of all of those grains, some good food for our yeasts. Uh, and then we bring it over to our ferment tanks, which uh, brand new, really nice and clean ferment tanks. Um, we pump it through the bottom, so we keep the entire system closed the entire time, doesn't let any unique off-brand stuff go in there. Uh, we run it through a chiller so that we can go straight in with the yeast right away. Uh, again, cuts down on any off flavors getting created by anything. Um, and then in about a week, those will be done. They create some really nice, clean ferments. Um, really, just like a good, clean, pale color to them. Okay. Comes over, and then we're in the still. And the uh, still, we typically do at least two runs um, on any wash. So the first one, we're collecting low wine, which is just everything. Um, we don't worry about making these delicate cuts in there or anything anywhere. And then we'll take that low wine collection, and we'll run it again. And that just helps clarify everything, just because of the shape of our still. It just gets us a good, condensed uh, cut of our spirit. And then all that second distillation is when we make those um, heads, parts, and tails cuts. OK. All right. Awesome. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you, Isaac. It's yeah. clear and evident that you guys take a lot of passion in everything you do. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, yeah. Copper Sky bourbon whiskey is super good. Yep. Glad you guys like it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you for all your hard work. Yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you. We finally have come to the part of the tour here where we get to sit down with owner Mike Root, friend of a friend. It's kind of how we met, yeah. right? right? So uh, thank you, Jason Hera. A little shout out to you for hooking uh, us up with Mike. Yeah. So we made the trip finally to um, actually bottle and put the stickers on the barrel pick for uh, whiskey and hammock and right? bourbon and Bible. Yep. All right, so Mike, tell us about uh, Copper Sky Whiskey. Copper Sky Whiskey. Quick, a quick synopsis of your Well, of this whiskey or? Well, of just uh, you and Copper Sky. Oh, man. So we're here in Longmont, Colorado. I, uh, I ended up here after my time in the military, moved to North Colorado, and decided after drinking a lot of good whiskey, I wanted to make some good whiskey. So uh, here we are, we sourced with MGP. We got a really cool scale of five, seven, and 13 year old whiskeys. And the one we're about to bring y'all is an amazing 13 year old light whiskey that's gonna knock your socks off. <laughs> Incredible. Right? And so like your barrel pick, it's made of custom label. Mm -hmm. Amazing, it's gonna be awesome. It's so kind of near and dear to all of our hearts yeah. too, so it's it's gonna be good. Yeah. And it's gonna sell like hotcakes in Jacksonville and around the south. It's the only one in Florida too. It's the right. only one in Florida. Only in Florida. Whiskey and a hammock. Bourbon in the Bible makes stuff happen. Yep. yep. Cheers. Go on, Copper Sky. Ay, ay, ay. He's so excited to be here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we kind of need the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all right, too, I guess. <laughs> Very good stuff. I don't know how much it's going to make you back, though. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That's good.
good. Sitting uh, a smooth 135.6. Wow. That's an odd combination. That's an odd, that's an odd phrasing. It's an odd combination of words. Smooth, yeah. A smooth yeah, 135.6. Yeah. No, I agree. But that's why we picked it, right? Yeah, exactly. Was, everybody agreed. This yep. Is, I think it was unanimous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's when you know you got a good barrel and everyone agrees. Because oh. yes. that means it hits a different flavor spectrum, yeah. right? Like it appeases you, me, and you, and right. it's like, oh, yeah, this is a great through and through. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun that we have here at Copper Skies. Like we do a really good job at, on our single barrels and in our blends. Like we find a way to get something good to everybody. So it's a fun time. And it's, it's showing too. We've had the weeded, the light whiskey, the low rye. rye. And you just got a sneak peek at the rum. Which and we just really got a sneak peek at the rum, which is freaking ridiculous. Unreleased. Too. Oh, <laughs> gosh, that's so good. Awesome. So this, this, is, this, this is rum. This is a rum. Oh, this is this rum. rum. This is the rum that's not released yet. We, we threw it in in October. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is a 100% our production product. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Whiskey and ale. Cheers. Rum and distillery. <laughs> yeah, this is a first. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, so with <laughs> Copper Sky, I need it like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What anyway, he's, it doesn't matter what he's saying. He's only like, the old it up. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to make a point to say that it's it's, it's obvious how the passion that Copper Sky has for what they do, and the love and the passion that goes into every bottle. And that's just not a cliche thing, it's it's evident, yeah. just by walking in here. So, thank you for all your hard work. Appreciate thank it. you for working with us. Absolutely. And uh, thank you guys we will be back, back and we're gonna wrap the hell Absolutely. It's, it's great We got stuff. a lot of fun ahead. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so, from us at Whiskey and Hammock, at, at Copper Sky, Sky. Hey. in Longmont, Colorado. In Longmont, Colorado. <laughs> yeah. I'm Eric, this is Mike, this is Chris. Chris hit us with the motto on the way out. May the window is where your hammock, may your glass never go dry. Cheers, John. Oh, wait, I have one more time. She's like, <laughs> 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 we're driving in the car.